Welcome back to Julius Ed. Yeah, new haircut. Freaking sponsored by Dragonheart. I wish, not really. I really wish I was sponsored by Dragonheart. I love that. I freaking love this shit. Look at this. Look at this. It's so freaking cool as well. Uh, anyway, stupid random freaking uh, intro aside. What I want to do today is uh, I want to appreciate freaking uh, Ghost Panther, dude. Like, I don't have... Uh, Captain Marvel at tier 3 but pretty much Ghost Panther like allows me not to give a fuck about that it, it, he allows me to be able to not need the tier 3 Captain Marvel uh, since I don't really uh, fancy her a lot you know mm -hmm. Uh, I think, I think I'm not, uh, like, I, I think I don't have the graphics set as, uh, at high, so um, you're gonna have to bear with that, but at the same time, this, sh this could be a nice showing of what characters can do, uh, when you don't have your freaking, uh, graphics at high, but we'll see, maybe they are at high, I don't know, nope, they're on low, and, uh, the freaking phone still freaking lags or maybe they're not on low i don't know man we'll we'll check after that but i think they're on low like the very low setting but yeah as you can see the f the phone is freaking lagging a lot uh i'll need to upgrade you know mm -hmm. uh but anyway look at freaking uh ghost panther his damage is freaking insane dude look at that and I'm not telling you to freaking start uh, building him right now. I'm just saying, it wouldn't it wouldn't be such a bad idea. Well, for now you need to freaking save for Endgame because it's gonna be out soon, okay? And it's gonna be freaking expensive. I don't know how I'm gonna handle it as well. Like, uh, even if I get to be a star agent for the next month and I do get the reward of uh, 5k crystals, I'm still probably gonna need to buy more crystals myself, which uh, is kinda sad. Plus the whole, the whole problem with gold, since uh, they're already freaking draining, and draining us with the gold chests, and uh, yeah, we're not getting anything, guys, like no freaking good reward from uh, those chests. Uh, which is to be expected and uh, probably it's why they actually decided to allow us to purchase up to 30 per day. Uh, so yeah, it feels kind of annoying that uh, we're spending, uh, I guess, 3 million gold on that. Uh, I myself uh, spend uh, 120k gold as well for the energy. I think it's really worth it. Like, I, I actually uh, would tell you, if you don't care about the gold chests, at least get, get all the energy, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, all the way, you could use that energy to pretty much do as many rifts as you can. And that will really help with uh, your uh, character pro progression with the rift characters. Uh, I'm personally using uh, it on uh, Warpath, cause yeah, I wasn't even finished with Angel. Uh, when uh, Warpath got released, so whoopsie doopsie, and I have to catch up with pretty much everyone, and I'm almost kinda done with six starring him, but at the same time, like yesterday, I had a lot of freaking energy, and I had to waste it on uh, some uh, I don't know Groot wrists because they were legendary, and I couldn't waste, like I couldn't not uh, clear a legendary rift, you know. Uh, it's the rewards that they give. Uh, funny thing though, uh, I'm using a really s a slow phone from Huawei uh, when I'm doing something else on this uh, main phone. And I got that freaking score on that phone. So maybe if you have a freaking fast phone, a faster phone, I guess, uh, your score isn't uh, gonna be applied uh, the same. I don't know, maybe it's it is uh, it's like some glitch that allows you to have a small uh, improvement on the score. I don't know. But anyway, uh, why not freaking do timeline battle again? 
uh, and this way I can show you what a freaking pain in the ass it is to uh, do timeline this week. I mean, I kind of showed it on the live stream, but it wouldn't hurt to actually freaking see it on a video because it's kind of tedious to check out the live stream if you weren't uh, there. And yeah, already dead. Uh, yeah, I I'm not kidding. This is the team I'm using this week. Uh, freaking Nick Fury. I know. Because all my metas are freaking banned except for uh, Strife and Quicksilver. So that really sucks. Oh my god. Uh, maybe I should use Invisible Woman in uh, instead of Nick Fury. That's not a bad idea. Thank you, kind, smart person who actually reminded me that I could use uh, Invisible Woman. Oh my god, I, I, I am dumb, okay? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I need to drink some of these. This is just amazing, dude. And it's actually really cheap compared to uh, what you would usually have to pay. Um, but anyway, let's, let's actually switch. Nick freaking Fury for uh, Invisible Woman. I, f I forgot that she was pretty good at timeline. Uh, holy hell, I'm I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Seriously. Okay, this video is gonna be about Invisible Woman now, not Nick Fury. Whatever. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> to be honest, cause uh, yeah, Nick Fury. I mean, he was pretty good sometimes. The fifth skill uh, wouldn't kill uh, uh, Strives uh, immediately, but when the uh, drops applied just a bit later, uh, they w would pretty much devastate any strife. So that, like, Nick, Nick Fury isn't as bad, but he's kind of bad surviving uh, rather than uh, damage wise, because damage wise, he is pretty good. But yeah, like, yeah, in timeline, it's really hard to uh, do well. But there you go. I mean, uh, at the same time, there's this uh, risk with Invisible one, Woman, when she's uh, running around, she gets this uh, uh, state of uh, permanent, I guess, uh, uh, iframe, and that could actually be a bad thing when you're going up against uh, freaking Captain Marvel. Uh, that may actually uh, allow Captain Marvel to do her fourth, even if you're not into uh, freaking a skill uh, at all and yeah kind of scary kind of freaking scary we'll have to see though this this could be a good actually a good thing to test out so why not there we go we have a strife and let's try to kill him uh i'm really bad uh fighting strifes with strife uh, that's yeah that's really weird to say but uh like I'm really bad at that. Let me do the third. Oh, forgot the third isn't a freaking iframe. I'm dumb. I'm freaking dumb. Let's try to heal or something. There you go. Killed the freaking strife. Uh, another invisible woman. Damn it. She's got to kill me, huh? Yep, she's gonna kill me. Of course. Okay, but let's freaking win with Quicksilver because he should be good, right? Remember when he was good? Do you? Do you actually remember when he was good? Because, I mean, he's still good, but, yeah, it's not the same anymore. <laughs> it feels bad, dude. Like, Quicksilver is one of my favorites, and, I don't know, maybe a new uniform or a tier 3 will make him pretty much godly. And I'd, I'd rather get that tier 3 instead of a freaking Thanos, because, mm, I don't know. Uh... He's really expensive. Like for the moment, I'm building uh, Doctor Doom. Maybe after that, I may try to build the Thanos. But uh, I will see if he gets a really, really good uniform for uh, Endgame, and then maybe I'll think about uh, tier threeing him. Well, not tier threeing him, but at least building him uh, for timeline and and uh, PVE actually, because I do care about PVE. It's not like I only care about timeline. I really love timeline because it's a game mode where you could win a lot of crystals each week for free. Just just play, man. Just play. And uh, uh, but at the same time, I really love PVE as well. I do want to dominate every freaking uh, little enemy in this game and every wall boss. 
even though I'm not getting really high for now uh, on those stages. But at the same time, I really do want to be able to do that. I just need to get better cards and pretty much uh, some CDPs or some shit. But I'm not going to be gambling. I'll just try the normal and the free-to-play way by pretty much trying to do as much world boss and as high as I can just to get some chests. And this Spider-Man is going to kill me. Yep. Yep, he's about to kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god, he didn't kill me because I'm so awesome. Anyway, there you go, there you go, please, please. Come on, invisible woman, seriously? Can you just die? Yeah, she died from strife, uh, like, even, even though she killed him, she still suffered. You suffered the consequence, motherfucker. Okie dokie, we have a Thanos and a tier 3 freaking... Uh, Captain Marvel, so yay me, I'm gonna suffer just a little bit for mocking Invisible Woman right then. Okie dokie, let's try to not die from this Thanos. Whoopsie doopsie, almost died, but nope. Survived, yay. I made it, I made it. Let's just kill this Quicksilver really easily. Um, let's try to kill uh, Captain Marvel, but it's not gonna be easy, because... Oh yeah, it's actually gonna be easy because she didn't have guard break immunity. Whew, okay, that's good. That actually scared me for a second because, I don't know, Captain Marvel, you know? And when you do iframes, you're pretty much dead against her. And she was at tier 3, so... Mm -mm. Immediate death, I guess. Just one freaking hit. Uh, I really uh, wish we can get another character uh, at tier 3 who is pretty much the same as her but it's not her because I can't actually stand her like the more I go with life the more I hate her I don't know why it's just her attitude and everything but anyway I am guessing uh, pretty much the the substitution for her will be Nova yeah I died immediately one hit like, I was uh, a bit more, uh, like, I had more than uh, half of uh, life with Quicksilver, and then one hit, freaking one hit. You didn't see her hit me. Just the skill starting pretty much destroyed me. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, probably Nova is going to be the tier 3 that uh, um, pretty much substitutes uh, uh, Captain Marvel. But I'm pretty sure that he will be... Let's say banned from timeline as soon as he re it gets released. Yep, that's what they're like. That's what they did with uh, Wolverine, and it felt kind of bad. I feel bad for the people who actually have him and built him and got him to tier three, but I'm one of the, I guess, lucky ones that uh, don't have him at tier three yet. Uh, my plan for now is pretty much just save some. Uh, like as much CCF as I can uh, and uh, just to use that to tier 3 Wolverine next uh, I know he isn't meta or anything like most of my builds aren't based on what's meta or what's not meta I just uh, want to build the ones that I love so that, that pretty much explains Deadpool even though Deadpool is a meta uh, character uh, it still explains why I got him, because I didn't care enough about the me uh, meta factor. Um, and I was actually postponing tier 3 in Deadpool just because I thought uh, 1.2k uh, CCF isn't easy to get. And it really isn't, but at the same time I was uh, pretty much getting, uh, getting a lot of CCF. Uh, it, I started to get a lot of freaking CCF. And I think the more you stop caring about it, the more you'll, you'll see that CCF drops aren't as bad as people make it out to be. Like, they're bad, but what do you expect? It's a freaking tier 3. It changes the game. Like, seriously. Uh, that's why they're pretty much releasing only one per update. And I think they, they feel like they made a mistake when re they released uh, Spidey and Iron Man at the same time. Because... It needs so much uh, balancing and uh, everything has to be perfect for the tier 3 skill to work with everything else. 
uh, without making it uh, really OP or something. So yeah, it makes freaking sense that uh, CCF drops would be really bad. And I mean, uh, like book drops aren't as bad as, th as that. But yeah, like CCF, man, uh, don't care about it. And you'll see that it's not as bad as uh, you think. And uh, at the same time, don't don't worry about getting tier three characters as soon as you can. Uh, the more characters you get, uh, uh, the better it is. Uh, sorry for my brain just freezing there. Uh, but like the more characters you have, the better it is. And it's not uh, worth it to just go for tier threes uh, right out of the gate. And yeah, I know Nebula can be uh, ranked up, but I'll see if she gets a good uniform uh, for Endgame. And if she doesn't, I'll just uh, use those bios to pretty much level up Doctor Doom. Um, but yeah, message of the day: don't freaking tier, th don't freaking try to tier three characters right out of the uh, right out of the gate, um, and don't really care about getting them. Uh, I guess Doctor Doom is. Uh, a character that will pretty much show you that you don't need tier 3. You don't really need it. Doctor Doom is a monster. Gene is a monster, even though people don't think that anymore. Um, let me pretty much tell you the monsters, okay? Um, Psylocke, she's a freaking monster. Uh, I don't know why I got her to 66. I was dumb. It was the start of this account and I was feeling kind of dumb. And did that. So yeah, a Scarlet Witch is a freaking monster. Quicksilver is a monster. Uh, freaking Apocalypse is a monster, even though people don't like him that much. I mean, uh, not in World Boss uh, Ultimate, but like in timeline, he is kind of scary. So don't, don't uh, forget about him. He was even banned this week. So yeah, I was thinking about using him, but he was also banned. Um, Cable is a freaking monster. Gene is a freaking monster, freaking Strife, uh, Reed, if you actually get him to tier 3 uh, and you care about PvE, he is a monster as well. Wolverine is a monster in PvP, that's why he got pretty much banned every week. Um, Doctor Strange, even though his damage is, uh, isn't as high, he can pretty much crowd control everyone. And yeah, you know, like all those and then we have... Human Torch here for new players. He's a freaking monster. Not in PvP. I, I don't know about PvP. I never really tested him. I don't want to waste my entries. But yeah, like for PvE at least and for new players, he's a freaking monster. Invisible Woman, if you can get her. Yeah, she's a freaking monster as well. Nick Fury for PvE. Freaking Ghost, Ghost Panther, as I showed already. He's a freaking monster. Um, who else? Freaking Nova. Okay, Nova is uh, kind of premium, but at the same time, he doesn't have his tier 3, so it's kind of fair game. Um, freaking Victorious. She's premium as well, in a way, but uh, not as premium as, uh, premium as Nova. She's freaking huge in ABX. She's really amazing. Doctor Doom, as I was saying. like uh, I'm doing uh, Shadowlands sometimes with him. And he's pretty much crushing the stages in one uh, minute on a lower level. Imagine now that he's 55 or imagine at level 60. But yeah, there's so many characters. You don't need to care about leveling up to 70 or beyond 60 and let alone going up to tier 3. Anyway, I'm rambling for too long. Uh, I, I will uh, ask you to freaking comment something. And I'll give you a new code uh, that's never done, be like never been done before. I mean, uh, <laughs> never mind all my videos till now. I've never done that before. I'm doing a crystal giveaway. Yay! Look at that. It's such a new thing. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of dumb right now. But anyway, I want you to comment if you could tier three anyone in this game, who would you tier three? Like. Any, any freaking one of this game, like characters right here, even freaking Hulkling. And I, I, I'd actually bet that the best answers, even though they're gonna be just for the meme, would be like these type of characters, the bad characters. I would want tier three them just to make them awesome, you know? Because everyone has their favorite character and uh, 
they aren't as bad as you would think. Like Hulkling is pretty freaking cool. He can fly, you know. You'd never expect him from from this guy. He's a Hulk. Never, no one has thought about that. But yeah, they did that, and he looks pretty freaking cool at, uh, at flying. And I would love to see him be amazing. And this guy right here, who wouldn't want to tier three him? Like. Uh, freaking net marbles should do uh, an update and tier three this guy everyone will tier three him just for the meme so yeah just saying anyway just comment that be uh, subscribed as well because you're not gonna get shit if you're not subscribed <laughs> look at my freaking face anyway you should freaking subscribe and because i'll check and if you uh, do subscribe and comment on this video you have a really high chance of winning so I'll see you guys tomorrow and bye-bye because I'll start talking about stupid shit again. Bye-bye.